Last of Vincent's Assembly on Il Clemore Bartat. We're at the Vincent's Assembly. I'm out with uh, UK's to find us uh, somewhere in the deepest, darkest Somerset on a, a quite blustery and wet day. Uh, not as bad as it forecast, but there again, it could get worse later. It did forecast uh, uh, heavy rain and sharp breezes. Um, but never mind, because I'm out today with uh, oh, my new Brutus Atrex. Uh, so I think today is going to be a bit of a discovery learning the settings, seeing what uh, pleases me uh, with sound and what doesn't. And I apologise in advance if I keep getting rain specs on the lens and my audio's muffled because the microphone has uh, got a dead cat on it, it's under a fleece and inside my jacket. <laughs> so. Uh, We'll see. Anyway, catch you at the first hole. Okay, my first uh, signal. With the Rutus. And it's saying it's a plus 22 to 30. Now I think that's a scale of minus 90 to plus 90. I'm still learning, so... <laughs> so I think that's a reasonably good uh, signal. Who's there? Ah, a shotty. Yep, we first find there's a shotty. Not to worry. At least it shows that the uh, Rutus is working. Right, I've switched to. Uh, well, I've switched from minus 90 to plus 90 scale to a 0 to 120 scale. Uh, it suits my brain better. We use it a day as to have a naught to something scale. Why 120? I'm not sure. Apparently, uh, IREC is one of these uh, believers in. Why must it only go to a hundred? Right, so I'm getting a reasonably straight fifty eight. Just above the uh, sort of goldy type area as you say I'm learning with this double bleeping so it must be fairly shallow let's try the pinpointer no it X marks the spot but is it X at the tip <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see. Hmm. Let's dig it there.
pinpoint is nice and clear. I'll move you over so you can see it. A buckle. I don't need that anymore. So it's a nice buckle, bronze, well, copper alloy, sorry. A bit of decoration on the nut, type of rose pattern, and um, still a bit of the uh, uh, Oh, I can't make up word. The bit that goes across the pin, pin, that's the thing. Uh, still a, a bit of the, the hinge and the stub of the pin. So, right, put that in the box. That was a, a squeaky 99 to 105. It's quite high up the scale. Uh, I'll, I'll explain the Atrix, uh, the Atrix, but it's up near the silver end. It's obviously heading towards the sort of 120 maximum setting for a, a conductive uh, metal but it's, it's quite faint and squeaky so let's see if I can find it Somewhere there. <sighs> Oops, whatever it is, I found it. Oh no, that's my toe. <laughs> I keep doing that. No. Nope. Definitely something down there. Oh. Oh. It's here. Ooh. Gold. <laughs> Watch winders. They have a chain. OK, 
Okay, so where's the watch? <laughs> That one looks okay. I don't know whether it's a spring or whether it's a duff spring, but doing that. Silver or not? Oh. Where would old marks be on a chain, watch chain? Or oh, rather silver marks? They're definitely not. You wouldn't expect every link to be uh, silver marked, oh, would you? Anything this end? Yeah, I don't think this is this glass silver. It could be. Yeah, I can't see any marks on that either. 